just made it. My flight got delayed because of some engine issues, but we're gonna actually see the Shelby come across the paddock here at Bear Jackson, my first time here. So excited. Let's take a look. further guys we're coming in for a landing on this giveaway the last one the last days are upon us may 1st is in so go out on 3 spot.com grab some merch i could be calling you to get this car good morning barrett jackson thanks for being here at palm beach this is where the world comes to celebrate the automotive community and because of that shelby american and automakers like it come to barrett jackson to unveil their latest greatest cars and we have the team from the West Coast that has come here. We have behind me Gary Patterson, the president of Shelby American. We have Vince LaViolet, vice president of operations, Tracy Smith, executive vice president of Carroll Shelby International, and Cash Singh, director of dealer marketing and sales. And we are here to make history. And we're doing that because of the two people that are standing here, Craig Jackson, Chairman and CEO of Barry Jackson and Steve Davis. And Craig, can you tell us what we're here to do today? We are gonna do an unveil. I'll let Steve talk about the significance of it. Uh, but we are very honored to uh, be here to unveil a brand new car. And this is the automotive world do when they unveil these incredible vehicles. As you know, Shelby, Carol, Gary, Scott, the entire team, Vince, everybody down there, Cash, Stacy, such an amazing team. They came all the way from Vegas, the West Coast, to do this in Palm Beach. Uh, normally, something like this, you have to travel the world. What you see now is function. It's not just stickers and scoops. This thing has content like we've never produced in a Super Snake before. We're going to build 250 of those for the U.S. market uh, this model year. Pricing will be announced in May. They'll be available through selected Ford dealers throughout the country. If you want to see this, and we're going to do a complete walk around with Vince and I immediately following this, it'll be just outside at the Shelby display. guys there you have it the s650 shelby american mustang revealed at bear jackson really really loved what they did uh i can't wait to see it and we're gonna do an in-depth walk around but that was the unveiling and uh wow let's keep it going let's take a look outside in the sunlight what it looks like guys Shelby Super Snake S650 just debuted at Barrett Jackson beautiful we'll have a full walk around shortly about it but take a look take it all in guys Shelby killed it again we're here 
with Gary Patterson. And of course, Chris Lamilet. What do you guys? I my first love at first sight. Yeah, thank you. I love it. Thank you. The, you know, I love my favorite part. I love the rear end. Thank you. Of the car, guys. Of the car. Yeah. <laughs> it, you guys are not about the part. Thank you. Thanks. So yeah. excited. We were all patiently waiting as Mustang fans, waiting for what Shelby had cooked. Yeah. And you guys waited, and it was worth the wait. Thank and I'm you. so excited to tell the fans, show the fans what went into it. Just me looking at it, it has that big mouth grill, the hood, the wheels, it all is in concert. 800 plus horsepower? 830 plus horses. Stick and, shift? Huh? Oh, or yeah. automatic. You can do oh, you can do 10 speed. Okay, and great. And you'll see a convertible here in a minute. Oh, there's more to unveil, guys. Okay. We're going to not only so see... So watch this thing. So this will be cool. We're going to do that here just in a minute. Yeah. The, the hits keep coming. Shelby is just on fire right now. So I'll turn the camera around. Let's see the convertible Shelby Super Snake. And then we'll talk to these guys more about what went into this special, special muscle. Go ahead and see what this uh, convertible version looks like. There you go. Nice. So when we did this car, we wanted to do a lot of different things. All right, guys, we are here at Barrett Jackson with Shelby American. Just released the Shelby Super Snake for the S650. We're gonna walk around it, talk about it, see what I think about it. But then we're gonna get Gary Patterson himself to talk about what went into this, all the good stuff, the who, what, when, and where. Shelby is here for S650. Let's go. As you guys saw at the beginning of the video, this was released and revealed at the Barrett Jackson floor. This is the Shelby American S650 Super Snake. And it's not just badges. It has gone through complete design, aerodynamics, engineering. This has all been tested uh, my buddy casting's a big track guy so there's a lot of bigger vents going on here all that kind of good stuff is happening and look at this carbon fiber i was told this is actually a carbon fiber fender that was painted over and is even more cooling there's cooling here that comes through the brake ducts and there's even cooling here around the headlights so all this is all functional because this is not just a pretty face this is a functional fast performance vehicle from Shelby American they're making 250 only for America uh, but let's take a look a little bit more in depth of course you do have the what is really cool the magnesium wheels here these wheels are magnesium only other car that has that the GTD that's here on this car lightweight wheels and of course what you have here really nice interior guys take a look all Shelbyized, great interior, stick shift, all the new Creature Comforts digital dash. Look at the stitching in there. And my goodness, it is nice. Let's take a seat. Wow. Whew, smells good in here. I love the snake print uh, skin, b &L sound system. Very nice. All right, guys, and then you have this beautiful shelby super snake stripe uh they come in all types of colors here and carbon fiber diffuser all the way across huge 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 pipes going on and look at this all new shelby super snake literally new badge there it is wow that looks aggressive bigger fangs there you go guys now we're gonna also showcase to you what this has as far as the power plant is concerned. This has a Whipple on it, making eight, over 800 horsepower, guys. And that is all emissions legal. You can register it, you can sell it, you can own it, not worry about it. It's all done in concert with Shelby, with Ford, with Whipple, and it looks great. Look at this, guys. This is really cool. Very GT350-esque as far as the fenders are concerned, the cooling, the wheels. But 
This is just what I saw on my naked eye. Let's bring in the experts and ask Shelby what went into this. All right, guys, we're gonna hear our startup of the Shelby Super Snake yeah. here. Guys, before we go any further in today's video, remember, we're coming in for a landing on this giveaway. It ends May 1st, so go now on 3supply.com, grab some merch. I could be calling you, because this could be your car. Good luck. my observation i'm here with the designer himself what's your name sir vince lavalette vice president of shelby american well, this guy has a very very big job to bring joy to thousands upon thousands of people tell us what went into this shelby super snake for s650 so s650 we started you know with a kind of a blank car we looked at the car and we went you know what this car has a lot of room for improvement so we we're really excited so what i really look at the first thing i look at is how i'm going to bring air in how we're going to bring air out how we're going to make the, you know, give it the downforce that we want. How we're going to make it perform best on track, but yet still make a car that's wonderful on the street. So we started with some horsepower. We're going to go ahead and do 830 plus horsepower. We're going to go ahead there and you start go. with that. Yeah. Now what do we do? Brakes. You know, uh, Ford actually gave us a great brimble, brimble brake. Yeah. But what we did is we went ahead and did some nice floating rotors, changed the, uh, changed the pads. We went ahead and changed some things up on there to give us what we wanted. So speed into the corner, speed out of the corner. What do you do? You low, you get rid of your rotating mass. Yes. How do you do that? Magnesium wheels. Wow. These are magnesium alloy wheels. 19 and a half pounds, that's it. Wow. So what we're doing is, so you're coming into a corner, you can go twice as deep into the corner, you're twice as fast out of the corner. Very exciting. Still real nice for the street. Uh, you look at the front of the car right here, there's a lot of things happening. You know, there's a lot of scoops and a lot of holes. We're bringing air in both sides for the dual intake. We got brake ducts on each side. Plenty of air down below. The traditional line across the top right here with the Shelby bar. Plenty of air in the front. Now, if you look at the, any other 24, you'll see that the right-hand side is always blocked off on the 24. Not on our car. We relocate the PCM on this. We went wow. ahead so we could put coolers on this side here. Balances out the airflow on the track. That way we got coolers on both sides. We don't have a block corner. We got plenty of stuff going through. You look at the little appliques under the headlights. The reason we did that, we wanted to bring more air in. We got them opened up up in here. That brings it in, scoops it in with everything else into the engine compartment, and then we evacuate it out the back. We go out here. This is aluminum hood. Weighs you know a quarter of what a regular hood would weigh. Carbon fiber uh, extractors on it, and then we have a beautiful extractor on the back of the fender. Runs all the way down into the rocker. Really wow. cool look, but not only a cool look, it's vented, 100% vented. We're pulling air out of there. We try to we try to keep our cars about eight degrees above ambient or eight degrees above ambient air temperature under the hood. That's our goal. We want to keep it to where you have maximum horsepower out of your blower. Your blower makes a lot of heat, right? You won't want to, you don't want to keep that heat under the hood. Not only that, you want to evacuate that stuff out. We don't want to run it out the bottom of the car and pick the car up after Absolutely. we've done all this nice stuff to it. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to, you know, get the car down low, evacuate the uh, air out where we want to evacuate it. Don't let it do what it wants to do. We put it where we want it to be. Absolutely. So aero, cooling, weight reduction, all went into this power everything you know all the way down to the rocker so you see this line on the rocker right here we sharpened that line up took this quarter panel here and gave it a total different look when you look back at oh. this car, it gives it a nice shot a nice european look little pocket down here where the shelby is you look up here you know what i mean with a stock quarter panel we didn't really do anything with this one although we do have a wide body coming out uh oh <laughs> okay so i wanted to change it to where it had a different look so what it does is it brings your eye it picks up this shadow line and this line right here and it changes the look of the quarter panel very subtle but yet really changes the car a lot now tell me about my favorite part so i back. love this deck lid so i wanted to go euro so i've had this in my back pocket for a few years and i'm just going you know what i don't want to bring it out yet but this deck lid being a two-piece deck lid, we're going like, this is it. This is the one. Yeah. So I went ahead and did this, gave a nice European look, brought the body lines around nice and clean. 
deepened it up. These tail lights were screaming for a deep, yes. big wing in the back back here. So we gave it to it. Didn't have to change anything else back here. And then we wanted to do an elegant, eloquent wing on the top. So we bring the wing up, make it mirror the body, make it fully adjustable to where you can have it for short track, long track. And then you go down to the bottom down here, carbon fiber diffuser all open. All wow. screened, all screened, all, all open on the bottom to where we actually have a diffuser that works. We're actually pulling the air out, extracting everything out of the back. So everything on this car, you know, I mean, look at that, that's a six inch pipe, you know what I mean? Switch inch twin uh, exhaust yeah. tips coming out of this thing. I mean, everything on this Tell me car, about this snake, we were talking about earlier. So. so a snake, this is a new snake. Nice, mean looking, change the font. You have a little line in the center of the font now. We want it for 24, we're going a new direction. We're going a new direction with the car. We're going a new yeah. direction with Shelby. So let's go ahead and change it up. You know what I mean? Love it. So yeah, everything everything on the car. Great just, job. Thank you, we're just, uh, we're very excited. You know, it takes a team to put a car Absolutely. Like this together. And we got a great team. I might be at the steering wheel, but you know what? It takes a team to drive everything else. And uh, we got a great team back at Shelby. We have a great CAD team that we work with. Uh, all the parts fit OEM style. It's just a very, very nice Beautiful. car. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Vince. I appreciate right, you. Man. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll be in Shelby, American, soon in Vegas to test one of these bad boys out. But you can see this at Ford Nationals. They have Shelby Fest coming out. Of course, Mustang Week. There's so many times for a chance to see this. But remember, guys, like he just teased, there'll be a wide body coming soon. So more content coming on the Shelby Super Snake. Like and subscribe because you know never ends. We didn't, we didn't get the we didn't get Gary's uh, assessment. Thank you. You gave us all the nuts and bolt details. But w give me uh, what give me some of the nuggets that you want to share. All right. So I'm sure Vince covered a lot because he's the one that really did a lot of this thing to design this car. And of course, it was a team effort. But in addition to this all being functional, we also know that you're going to need to drive it on the street. Right? Absolutely. Maybe you want to drive it to a, a show or an event and you may get caught in the rain. Absolutely. Right? So if you're going to do that, we have rain trays that go underneath this and give you proper drainage so that it doesn't just go down through these. You know, you want to do this if you're going to run it on the track. Absolutely. If you want it to look cool at the All car right, show. Yeah, but these actually, they'll George, take you later. Take but if Thanks, you, um, all you got to do is unbolt those trays. Wow. And then you've got something that you can drive and get caught in the rain. It's a year-round car. like that. So, yeah, I don't know if I drive it in the snow or yeah, exactly. snow tires, but, you know, outside of that, yeah, you can drive it. And that's yeah. what we want. We want something that, if you want to, you could take it on a trip and, you know, grand tour to Charlotte or something like that yes, if you wanted yes, to, right? Because yes. Charlotte's a big, you know, mecca for Mustangs. You know, we're selling 60 years of Mustangs this yeah. year. But, you know, so a lot of the stuff that you're seeing that is functional is also stuff that we've designed so you can live with it on a daily basis. Absolutely. So that's pretty cool. So no, I, I, and people can see this at all these events this year, right? Yeah, so I don't know about all the Most events, of the right? Okay. But if you look at the big hitters, you know, Woodward Dream Cruise, Carlisle, all Ford Nationals, we're going to be there with the Shelby Semi, Mustang Week, all those kind of things. Wonderful. You'll be able to see these in person and talk to the people that know about these cars. Wow, and there's more more nuggets coming down the road too oh absolutely all right oh, all absolutely. right all right carol shelby's favorite car was the next one we're working on all the right next ones too. thank you so much gary right. i appreciate him Take he's care, the man all i right. appreciate him and them giving us great access for you guys take a look shelby super snake we'll be following the shelby truck all over the country because there's actually more stuff coming for you and for me all right guys that's gonna wrap up our basically Barrett Jackson coverage of the Shelby American S650 Super Snake debut. Love it. Comment below what you guys think. I'm a huge fan. Maybe, maybe I can bring one to the channel. All right, you guys, I appreciate the support because you know, never ends. Peace.